Rahman Rahim, Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum. And always a reminder for myself and abdukul ajis a da'ifu, miskeen, zalim, jahat. And but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah for the holy month of Rajab and the immense realities of the holy night of the 27th and the reality of two and seven as a gateway to the heavens and to bring to modern language for people. These are the realities of paradise portals. The same reason why shaitan is trying to make his satanic portals. These are doorways into heavens and that Sayyidina Muhammad was granted the greatest portal. That the night of Israhi wal Miraj is the journey from Medina to Jerusalem and from Bayt al Maqdus up into the heavenly kingdom through Jacob's ladder, the ascension into the heavens, and immense realities. And so many realities within the reality of Israhi wal Miraj, and so many events that Prophet brought for the nation, and that. In the time of sadness and grief Allah granted a Divine nearness and called His beloved servant with His physicality to the Divinely Presence. And because of the immensity of its spirituality many people say, oh we have questions on this or questions on that and no it was with the physicality, the immensity is that how Allah can take a physical being, traverse through all of the earths and heavens into His Divinely Presence and that that physical being can enter into that Divinely Presence without exploding, being destroyed. That's the miracle of Israhi wal Miraj that Allah through the physical personality of Sayyidina Muhammad brought to his Divinely Presence and at the end of the miraj when he returned back home Sayyidina Aisha salam described as if his bed was still warm, that he never left. That this is an immense reality of time travel and these, these portals Allah open. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. That within a, a time and the speed of thought Prophet was called with physicality to enter into that dimension and access the heavenly kingdom. And that Allah sent for Sayyidina Muhammad Sayyidina Jibra'il and Sayyidina Mika'il, the archangels that entered into the physical realm. They dressed Sayyidina Muhammad with a heavenly dress to traverse these realities. They brought the jubba from paradise and dressed Prophet brought water from paradise for ablution and for washing so that he would wash from the heavenly oceans and realities and that he would be dressing with, with the khirqa and jubba of paradises. And that Allah had prepared a very special steed what some people thought were like unicorns but what we call a buraq that has a creature similar to that of a horse in nature but has a human head and was prepared specifically for this journey to traverse from Medina to Munawwara 
to Bayt al-Maqdus and that Prophet would be moving through those realms. Means that at every step we always go into the immense realities of each step. But for here to understand that how much Allah loves His servant, loves the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad For anyone whom they with bad manners argue that why do you hold big events? Why do you hold very luxurious events? Why is, is the, the love of Sayyidina Muhammad so important? Is that we take our lesson and example from Allah That Allah gave to us how and an understanding of manners. That how much Allah loves this reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and that when he calls him to his presence doesn't just say, kun fayakun and appear but offers every type of tashrif of a majestic eloquence, like an invitation that I'm not just going to bring you into my presence but I want all of creation to know this love I have for you. If anyone who stops and ponders. That how Allah the creator of all creation, He sends a respect and He sends His two archangels to go and greet the servant. It's different when we understand the mannerisms of kingdoms that you go to a king. But when Allah is showing this immense love, He sends an envoy to receive him, to wash him, to dress him, to clothe him and a heavenly limousine known as a buraq, as a steed. This is a sign from Allah to all whom are witnessing, the angels definitely, that what's happening? That Allah is preparing all of this majesty, this must be a very honoured and noble guest. All of creation was pounding on the doors of heaven crying and asking that let us enter into your paradises, enter into your heavens, enter into these dimensions. But for Allah's beloved servant, He sends an envoy to wash him, to dress him, to put him upon a, a comfortable heavenly steed like a limousine from paradises and to carry him in a noble fashion and noble way. Means Allah is teaching for us that when you involve yourself with Muhammadun Rasulullah hold the highest of honour and the hold the highest level of tashrif, of respect and dignity. As Allah respected and dignified the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad even if you live 10,000 lives and spend 10,000 wealths it comes nothing in the comparison for the Creator of all creation, what He showed of love and respect to His beloved Sayyidina Muhammad So there is no money that can be spent, there is no time and effort that could be spent that even comes close to the majesty of Allah and that's what Allah is showing. That when you say, Muhammadun Rasulullah Put the highest level of honour within your heart and do the best that you can do in representing that reality as Allah is our example. And that's the immensity that is not heard of. And that's why the hasad and when shaitan enters into people, it's shaitanic envy that can't stand that event. Shaitanic envy within somebody says, oh wow that didn't happen because the shaitan inside him is, is whispering to that person because it didn't happen for Azazil. Whatever he thought he was going to achieve of honour and dignity that wasn't for him, that reality was for the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Then from Medina to Munawwara Prophet is taken into Jerusalem and in the presence of Jerusalem 124,000 Prophets and Messengers of Allah whom received a message or Risalat to be Prophets, all in their spirituality manifesting to be present and witness the arrival of Sayyidina Muhammad 
which is immense because Allah has in Qur'an al Kareem describing that every time they were destined to be messengers and prophets and saints, Allah asked them that if He comes within your time, you accept Him and that you follow Him, establishing the risalat and the supremacy of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad so that those prophets and messengers knew you are below the reality of Prophet just for you to know that if at any time he comes you're not leading the prayer, you don't have a rank compared to his rank and they said bala and they accepted. And that was a foretelling of the event of Jerusalem that when Prophet arrived in Bayt al-Maqdus in Jerusalem Al-Aqsa, Masjid Al-Aqsa that 124,000 Prophets and Messengers of Allah prepared to greet the arrival of Sayyidina Muhammad Why? Because they represent their nations and when they prepared they began their salah and they prayed, they prayed in the form and in the fashion of our prayers in which they stood, they make their ruku, they made their sajda and tahiyyat exactly as we prayed. They prayed behind Sayyidina Muhammad They finished their salah and in tahiyyat they gave their shahada. Ashhadu as, 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 an la ilaha illallah, ashhadu an Muhammadun Rasulullah. Assalamu alaykum ayyuhan nabi means at that time they're giving their real shahada. At that time their prayer became real. Every prayer they prayed was an imitated prayer. Allah wanted to bring them to the perfection of their faith because Allah's religion when Allah is saying the deen of Allah is Islam meaning what? Everything before that was not the religion of Allah Everything before that was an imitation for the arrival of the religion of Allah which is the religion of the heavens, which is the Lord's Prayer. That's why Allah made them to make that prayer, Thy Kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And at that moment the Kingdom of Allah with the King of Allah is present and all the Prophets of Allah prayed that prayer. They gave their shahada to Sayyidina Muhammad and they entered into Islam and the deen and the purified religion of Allah Every other was an imitation up until that point means today I completed your faith. Means whatever they had was of an imitation, a placeholder and with the arrival of Sayyidina Muhammad because now Isra wal Miraj means that Prophet is going now for his reality, his marifah. That is going to Allah wants to grant the reality of Prophet to know about himself and his reality as all creation was waiting for that event because no creation is allowed to know about itself until Prophet knows about his self and himself and his realities. So the physicality of Prophet is granted on Isra'i wal Miraj, the marifah and the door of Gnosticism that this gift I'm going to bring you to my presence this whole way is a way for you to know yourself, to know your identity and that's an immense reality. And anybody whom has travelled with awliya, the understanding of tashrif for people to understand an example, if there was a maqam and there's a shaykh at the maqam and you accompany a shaykh, you never enter into that maqam until the shaykh enters the maqam. That shaykh is waiting for the shaykh to enter in to grant his salams. You don't ever go in first to give your salams, you have to know your position, you stay out and in the back. So the same is that Allah not going to call His creatures 
to come and to know about their realities onto His most purified beatific creature, most beatific creation is brought back into His Divinely Presence. As Prophet is, is moving towards the knowledge of Himself and what Allah has dressed upon His reality all the way to the presence of Qawba Qawsaini O Adana. Traverse all of paradises, the, the lutri, the, the furthest boundary, all of that to the presence in which Allah describes in His physicality is brought between two bow lengths or nearer. What kind of reality is that? That Prophet's physicality entered in to an ocean of power which is just Divinely power. That place in which La ilaha illallah is facing Muhammadun Rasulullah and Allah brought the physical Muhammadun Rasulullah to realize that reality, realize the closeness, realize what your reality represents to this entire ocean of creation and that, I am a hidden treasure and I want it to be known by you Immense. What we have the salawat al huwiyah Salatullahi wa salam. The book. Our salawat book, inshaAllah. <coughs> 66 The Huwa Where's the son of it? 19 <coughs> What is what page is it? Page 19 Page 19 90 90 read the first two lines let me see if we're on the right page Allahu Allah, lama nadani huwa fasirtu abdan mamlukan lahu huwa Allahu Allah, lama nadani huwa fasirtu abdan mamlukan lahu Khairul bariya nazra ilayya ma anta illa kanzul atiyya Ya bahru fadlin wa taj adlin judli bi waslin qabl al Allahu Allah, lama nadani huwa fasirtu abdan mamlukan lahu huwa Allahu Allah, lama nadani huwa fasirtu abdan mamlukan lahu <laughs> this is the, the great reality of Huwa, the immense reality of Holy Qur'an in which Allah قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ ahad. That from that ocean of ikhlas that all of Qur'an is the dress of Sayyidina Muhammad each chapter we call a surah, a face, that in which will be known Allah's hidden. But Allah's Divinely face is the face of Sayyidina Muhammad And the face of absolute sincerity is that reality of Qawba Qawsaini O Adana in which Allah brought His servant all the way to the presence of and in the face of La ilaha illallah and at that time the alif lam lam ha of Allah is then addressing the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah 
From that hey to who, wow, become who. From the who of Allah it's saying, Qul who and, and giving to Prophet the immensities of these realities, the oceans and the dress of uh, immense sincerities. So means that it can't be even imagined that how Allah brought the physicality all the way through the heavens and paradises to be dressed from the realities of Qawbu Qawsainiyu Adana from two both lengths or nearer to His Lord. The oceans of power that can't be understood, a location that can't be understood. And Allah dressed the reality upon His servant, the oceans of sincerity. And all along the miraj and all of the events and descriptions of the miraj that at every paradise Allah commanded all the angels of that paradise to come out, come out and greet Sayyidina Muhammad on the outside of their paradise. Again showing the immense respect that, that when a, a noble guest comes you don't wait inside for the guest, you stay outside. That the angels are outside waiting and they will enter in with the king of all creation to witness the reality of that paradise, to the reality. And this is a witnessing for His holy physicality that, look how much I love you, that the sadness and grief that the earth has been causing you, I would not have sent you there but your immense oceans of rahmah and mercy. And as a result, look at every paradise, every angel is out to greet you. And as you enter into that paradise, every angel will describe the reality of that paradise, the reality of all its blessings and all of that for you Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem, Ya Habib al Azim. Means the immensity of, of Israhi wal Miraj and the immensity of Ta'abi wal Ishreen, the reality of two and seven, that this is a gate, that in the huruf the two is the ba. And the seven is zat and the secret of the essence. But if we do the huruf people become confused, we stay with just the reality of, of the immensity of the gate, the immensity of Israhi wal Miraj, <coughs> the immensity of Allah the, the description of Israhi wal Miraj from Prophet to the Holy Companions was the gate of Gnosticism as a result of Prophet revealing these realities, it opened the door to immense realities. As a result it became like a door of Gnosticism that as soon as they heard just a hint of each of these realities, the heart expanded what Allah wants to expand of its knowings. That of every knowledge and every reality it's over Flowing abundance is the door of Israhi wal Miraj that the piercing of these veils, if we could even just imagine the visual, it's as if Prophet is traversing these seven layers of an atom and the atom of all atoms. From his outermost reality, he's traversing seven layers into the nucleus. And as a result of going all the way into the nucleus of his reality, he created an opening for all realities. That's when we described our own personal marifah is you have to go through your seven names to the name that you have in Divinely Presence. And as soon as you cut through these names, you're creating a pathway. And when you create a pathway all the way to the center, what happens? The flowing ocean of the center begins to flow through all seven rings are being filled with the knowledge from your reality. Now what about the one who holds all realities? That's the immensity is that Prophet he cut through all of these seven realities, seven names and seven heavens, enters into the nucleus of his Divinely reality and dresses all the oceans and all the firmaments and all the dimensions with the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah because everyone's reality is within Muhammadun Rasulullah How could you know your reality before Prophet opens his Divinely reality? 
So that was an immense opening for all of creation to know their station, know their limits, know their reality. We pray that Allah dress us from the immensities of these oceans and alhamdulillah they gave for us last night that this is an ocean of love and muhabbat. Those whom have good manners and good character that they merely keep their good character, their love and through that connection of love the reality of Prophet to dress them and bless them from the immensities of these oceans and these stations and these realities in which they cannot be achieved by any action. And the immensity for the entire nation is so great of what Allah is dressing Israhi wal Maraj because every moment is a flooding. Every moment that reality is flooding all the dimensions from the Muhammadan haqqaiq. And muhibin and ashiqeen every night they're in this mirage. Every nasheed and majlis of Salih ala Nabi is an immense mirage to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad We said before this Islamic holidays alhamdulillah for common people it's a time that once in their daily life they stop and recognize, stop and think and perchance they may be dressed by something. But ashiqeen their whole teaching and love is the mirage. At every moment you meditate, every moment you do a, a nasheed, a salawat, when you say, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad, what Prophet promised? Allah will allow my soul to come to you but the adab is not nice to say that. The adab is Allah will allow you to be in the presence of Prophet with one durood sharif. So imagine when the shaykhs are giving awrads they do thousand, five thousand, ten thousand don't leave the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Said your arwa, your soul always to be in that presence said, Ya Rasulul Kareem I'm nothing and I'm not worth it but you gave me this door and I make my durood, I make my salawats and they're in a continuous mirage and a continuous dress and a continuous movement at the speed of thought. That's why their dress and the significance of their dress is something that common people who may stop once a year to just think of Isra wal Miraj and that they're going to draw near to Allah. It's not comparable because they just sit for a little bit of uh, what is the when the rain comes little by little, not even very stormy. And they get a little bit wet, they think it's fantastic. Ashiqeen, at every moment you're doing your awrad and making salawats, you're in a mirage being dressed by oceans and firmaments of reality because you're drawing near to the one whom we're describing these realities. It can't be compared, can't be understood. So Babur Rahmah and the immensity for ashiqeen is that every moment they're being dressed by these things. So people whom specifically bring themselves up for immensely powerful particular night, don't be fooled by that. Every night is the Israhi wal Miraj, every night is the Ishq of Prophet and do your awrat. You want a miraj? Very simple, you go like this, this is now your buraq. Dun 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 dun. So Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Sayyidina Muhammad connect your heart. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Your soul is moving into the presence of Prophet And then you begin to feel that love and feel that ishq and feel that dress. And at every moment you're being dressed and at every moment is a miraj for the believer. They just have to know where they're going. That's why it's important to teach the love of Prophet because how could you have a miraj thinking you're going to Allah? Means you're, you've put Prophet here and you're going beyond that, like you're going in front. It's a adab Allah looking at you like you've lost your mind, what are you thinking? Go back behind your Rasul and that your miraj is to Sayyidina Muhammad and that the miraj of Prophet is continuously moving 
into Divinely Presence, into Allah's immense realities. We pray that Allah give us more and more understanding, more and more ishq and love for that Divinely reality inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamu ala mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammadin Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.